Hello again. Uh, a lot of people have said, hey, you know what, I really need to see what it is like to flesh out a grow room and make one. So, you know, the fact that I've got a flowering room over there, and I've got a vegetative tent right there, I've decided that I need to move my clones and everything and cloning operation into this room and put it in right next to these guys. Uh, so that they can benefit from that light, plus also the one that I'll put in there as well. So one of the first considerations is a the color of the walls. Obviously, orange not the best color for a grow. It could work, but uh, much rather have something that would be white, or say maybe uh, even uh, reflective, like the material that I'm using on this tent right here, and that I use on the walls in the room itself. Now, one of the issues with using mylar like this is as you can see, it, it can create hot spots. You see how you get that bright flash of light there? That's from the lamp reflecting. It's gonna create hot spots in the room. So you may wanna use your light meters and things like that in order to take a look after you've put the mylar up. And if the mylar is just giving you too many hot spots, then you might wanna take it down and put up, uh, just paint it with white. But in this case, because it's a bedroom, uh, I'm not gonna paint the walls white. I am gonna go with the Mylar. It's only gonna be on two sides. I'm gonna have the middle of it open. Uh, so I shouldn't deal, be dealing with too many hot spots. But uh, the first thing that I'll have to do is I'm gonna get the materials. Uh, my basic materials are uh, the dishwashing, uh, dishwasher or dishwashing machine pan. Uh, they usually come about 30 inches square. They're perfect for putting down on carpeting so that, like you can see underneath this one here, this one here is black. The one that I picked up today is white. Um, the other materials that I'm going to need are obviously PVC pipe, like I've got on this one here. And also a few little elbows and maybe about an hour or so's worth of work. I will shoot some more video as I'm going along here and uh, show you how things progress so you can kind of see how it all goes together. Uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, well, uh, it took me longer to run into town and uh, get the parts that I needed than it did to actually get the parts ready. So what I did was I picked up uh, four 10-foot sticks of PVC, half inch, and I've uh, also got uh, four elbows there and also two T's, which will become evident why. Now I've already cut the PVC down to eight feet so it's going to be a little bit taller than this one right here by a couple of feet but that's because I'm not adding uh, a middle tray for it so uh, yeah now off that uh, off the PVC I cut a two foot section and I cut four one foot sections and as I assemble this uh, it'll become obvious as to why it is that I cut these pieces the way that I cut them and the only other thing that I need is bingo mylar blankets you can get them anywhere they're cheap uh, the emergency survival blankets they work great they're mylar so now I'm gonna go to work on assembling okay well I've done the, a little bit of the assembly here and what I've done is I've taken the two one foot sections of PVC uh, I've put a T in the middle and I've got the elbows so that they'll point down so what's going to happen here is I'm going to put these elbows on the ends of the PVC pipe that will make the uprights. And then I'll use this two foot one that will go as the spacer in between the two joints. So when it's up and standing, it will essentially kind of look like this with another two foot piece stuck in between it. So that I can hang the light. So let's get on to that next step now. Putting the top parts up and putting the cross brace in. Okay, so as you can see here on the ground while it's still grounded, I've got the first cross beam in and I've got that piece going across and it's going to the other part which I'm now going to attach the other two pieces of long PVC to and that'll make the rough frame that I need in order to hang my lights. Okay, well, uh, I decided that uh, eight feet was too tall on the tall foot on the, on the big ones here, so I cut another two feet off, bring them down to six feet, which will make it similar in height to the other tent that I've got here for my vegetative growth. 
As you can see there, I've got the side, I got the top piece all ready to go into place. Just need to attach it and it'll be ready. Okay, here we go. I've got the top parts in. Got the cross brace there where the light's going to hang and be able to support from, and that'll also keep the two cross braces from collapsing on each other. They really don't need any additional support because there's not really going to be that much weight on them, just the weight of the one lamp. And plants will sit down there in the nice little tray. It's about an inch and a half deep. It's about 30 inches square, so a 24-inch square tent fits perfectly in there. You don't have to worry about water getting onto your carpet or anything like that. The only thing I have left to do now is to attach uh, two sides of uh, some of the uh, Mylar blankets in order to give some reflection to the sides, and she'll be done. Back in a minute. Okay, so there, we got the lights hung up. Everything's standing. I did decide to add a couple of more uh, elbows to give it feet so to speak, so it's a little bit more stable than what it was. And if I decide that it's not stable enough, I can always uh, add uh, another couple of cross beams because I cut two feet off, and it's two feet from two feet by two feet by six feet tall, so two by two by six. And uh, it's probably taken you longer, I know it's taken me longer to edit this together than it did for me to put this video together, or for me to put this uh, tent together here. So. There you go. It's not that hard. It's not that expensive. With the exception of the light. Uh, I'm looking at less than $100. Uh, actually, I think the uh, white tray down there was $27 and another $25 for PVC pipe uh, and uh, some maybe $10, $15, $20 at most probably for the connectors and stuff like that that I needed for uh, elbows, actually eight elbows and two T's and it works just fine and there you go just like that in a matter of a half an hour 45 minutes you can have yourself a, a grow tent all set up and ready to go and, and there we go final stage lights kicking on light cord goes up and around and over so it stays away from the heat of the lamp Easily adjustable, you can take it up, take it down as needed. There you go, very simple, nice little grow tent. That'll satisfy your needs. Doesn't have to be anything fancy so long as it works.